Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlogs. Today I'm trying to get into a normal routine, so off we go. I think we've got a pretty exciting and a pretty big mail day, so I'm gonna go get some coffee, move my car, because my car is currently being charged, and I'm probably getting idle fees for leaving it there all night. And then we'll come back and do the mail day. All right, first stop is the car, 53 pounds. Okay, charging fee was 40 pounds. Idle fee, 15 pounds, that's not bad. I thought the idle fee was gonna be much worse than that. Why am I in my car? I was supposed to get the coffee first, then my car. Hopefully I'm not gonna get a ticket because I've got my receipt now for getting in the car. Technically, I'm not charging anymore in this EV spot. I feel like I'm all over the place today. I didn't even drink that much last night. I think Harry and I just had like a bottle of wine um, and then I had a few cocktails, but I only really drink when we do things like that on that occasion. I never casually drink at home. Like I never drink at home, ever. Job one done, coffee acquired. People always say in the comments that, oh, I miss when, like right, these guys just want to go in. What's going on there? <laughs> Bro, the light, the light went green and these guys just didn't drive. No one pipped their horn. Why? This is London, man. Why is no one pipping him? If you're watching from America or someone else, we call honking our horn pit. Like, oh, I pipped them. I don't know why we call it that, but we just do. But yeah, now, like, people are always, always like, oh, I miss when you go and get coffees. But then I'm like, when I go get a coffee, I'm like, thinking it's really bad content. Anyway, I've got to give Seb a quick call right now, a uh, big wedge, so be right back. Oh, I've come the wrong way. Have I? I don't know. Anyway, Seb didn't answer, so I'm, I'm here. Um, and then hopefully he calls me back in a second. Uh, but yeah, actually, sort some dates out for like big wedge filming. There's a lot of big veg filming going on. I've also got some trips planned and some card shows and stuff. So I sort of need to get everything tied up so I can get everywhere. Like there's a chance I might have to fly from America to Spain for golf filming. So I'm just gonna check. I don't, apparently, maybe I don't, which is good. Cause that would be complicated. But yeah, I also wanna do Japan as well uh, to go and get some cards for the streams and for the store. And also for some vlog content for you all. And also for some Pokemon content for everyone. Phone call all finished. Big Wedge is gonna be cooking these next uh, month or two or at least filming. Uh, doing insane as it is right now anyway. But uh, bad news, okay. I've got my parcel, the mail day that I wanted to show you guys. And this is on it. US Customs and Border Protection examined by. So these are Pokemon booster boxes, quite high end. And usually this means they've gone and opened the boxes and broken the seal, which is not good at all, because obviously it's an expensive booster box. So I guess let's put this here and, and find out. All right, let's see, got a chest mount on as well. Um, oh, I'm nervous, man, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh no. Okay. It's another box. What's in the box? It's another box. Okay, we have. Ah! Still sealed. Oh, the light and stuff out here. Black and white plasma freeze. Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver base booster box. Triumphant Heart Gold Soul Silver booster box. So that's scared for a second, but we're good. We're good. Sometimes when that happens, they go through the boxes and like, they don't open the packs, but they, they break the seal in the boxes. As you can see, we are good. Let's go. These are gonna be really cool. Obviously, I'm gonna be breaking these on my whatnot and potentially Pokeran, so make sure you check my whatnot link in the description. You get 10 pound off anyway. This is like 15K in vintage boxes. We're gonna be opening them all and breaking them. So if you wanna get packs, follow the links. Right now I'm just working on the, uh, the Ace logo. We we'll be introducing Authentic soon, so you can get a card authenticated but not graded. That means, say if you've got a card that won't get a high grade and you don't want to get like a six or a five, but you just want it to be slabbed up and authenticated, then that would be the method you choose. Um, and to do that, obviously, we need to think about the label. It won't have a number where the grade usually is. So as you can see on this card right here, see the nine right there? Obviously, it wouldn't be a nine. It would be something else. It looks stupid and weird having it blank. So I think we're going to put an A there for authentic. But then rather than it being a letter A, because we are ace grading, I thought it'd be good to incorporate the logo because it is an A, you know? So what I'm trying to do here is extract the A from the logo, maybe leave the, leave the swoosh in, but we'll see. That's what I'm working on right now. If not, maybe we'll just use this. <laughs> Flash forward to here right now, a couple of hours have gone by. Um, it's been a tough day actually. It's just been mainly working here. I, I was trying to get to the office with Hassan, but everything kept popping up uh, and more things kept, uh, like little tasks I needed to do and just delayed me and delayed me and delayed me. The label I was showing you guys, it didn't look good that way. It was too much, it looked a bit tacky. So we went with a different approach. I can't show you right now, but it's coming soon. Authentic is coming soon to Ace. I just got done filming the YouTube video on the Pokemon channel uh, regarding these three boxes. It was like a, I purchased uh, some you know, expensive boost boxes um, and 
So yeah, I know I'm spoiling it here, but please go and watch that when it comes out. But yeah, it was me going through the boxes. It was showing off the cards, how much the cards inside can be worth. And also kind of announcing the box break. As I said to you guys, make sure you get the link in the description for whatnot. That's gonna help you know when the streams are upcoming. Click it, get involved. The packs might even be live right now. So if you wanna get some packs, go and check it out. Bookmark the streams and all that jazz. Speaking of whatnot, I do need to get to the studio and do a stream tonight. I have no idea what to do. Uh, I really want to just sort of go live with one of these, but I think I should announce them. It's a smart thing to do. I've ordered my food, ramen, again, low calorie, delicious, love it. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. It's a tough day again, hard to focus, hard to get back into this kind of like, this kind of work rather than being out and about. I did book my next trip as well. So the next trip has been booked. Um, I'll just tell you what it is, it's Japan. Sick, right? We're taking the vlogs to Japan. We're taking the Pokemon content to Japan. I'm gonna be going to some Pokemon card shops. I'm gonna be buying and sourcing some products for the stream. Also some for my own collection. I'm starting a new collection series as well on the Pokemon channel and I'm excited for that. I'm gonna be going on my own, but Vivian Frank is also gonna be there as well. Uh, Vivian Collectibles, you guys have probably seen him on the vlogs before. He'll be there. We're not gonna hang out the entire time because he's going with Marie, but We'll meet up at certain days and go hunt for some cards and stuff. Also, a big thing to mention, um, Ace is working with a potential partner over there as well. So I also want to go and meet them for the first time and kind of progress that. So it's definitely a business trip before you guys are all like, I can't, I can't believe you're going on so many holidays. Fully business. I can't say when, because uh, also it's quite tight as well. It's like big wedge shoot, Japan back to big wedge shoot. Um, so I was chatting to Laura as well, getting loads of dates in for, for Harper. I'm gonna be up north soon, more as well. Uh, and also, I'm not sure if I mentioned, cause I know I filmed the vlog that I ended up not posting, but I spoke about a few personal things in there. And again, it's at the minute I can't talk about a lot of that stuff and I don't want to talk about a lot of that stuff, but I'll fill you in when I can. It's gonna be a tough couple months, but um, one of my goals is, actually, I'll just, I'll just tell you one part of it. Uh, I'm unsure how much I want to stay in London. Um, it's expensive. I have to, I'm paying for my house and also the flat and also which other bills as well. Um, and also, I realized when I'm at the warehouse and when I'm up north more, not only can I run the business better, you know, the Pokemon business, um, I also am way closer to Harper. And obviously, that old stuff is still pending because I don't, you know, we don't, who knows, we don't know what's gonna happen with all that stuff. But hopefully if things can go well, I'll be able to spend way much more time with her and ho I'm hoping I can actually have her a lot more, you know? I know I'll be away from my friends a lot, but that's fine. And I'll be away from this side of the work a lot, you know, the YouTube side, but I, I feel much more comfortable in the Pokemon side of things. I'm better at it. I'm better at business than I am content creation, if I'm honest. Like this vlog and the Pokemon channel is more documented and stuff. I'm just better at business, man. Um, so I'm trying to like, downsize my life a little bit, scale back a lot of the YouTube stuff, which will then give me more time to see Harper. It'll give me more time for myself as well. The, the, the vlog may struggle because obviously I'm gonna be up north more than I am in London, a lot, a lot, a lot less cool stuff happening. Um, but I've got Big Wedge, I've got the podcast, I've got things that I can be coming back to London for. So I'm trying to figure out, can I keep the flat or can I, I'm trying to downsize the flat. I'm trying to downsize the flat. Is there any cheaper options? Cause I, I tried the whole hotel approach before and it was expensive, super tiring. Thought about hiring a driver. I know that sounds, sounds crazy, but I thought about like, rather than spending money on a flat, could I get a driver who could then just bring back and forth? Trains, I know you guys say trains, but I, I could do trains actually. But again, then it's hotels and stuff. So I'm trying to downsize the flat, get a cheaper one. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking about all that stuff, but mainly, Hopefully, if things go to plan with the personal side of things, yeah. That, and I also want to open a shop. I want to turn Poker Run into a physical store as well. That's a bit of a spoiler, but yeah, I'm looking at, I'm trying not to announce too many things so I can show you them in the vlog and just, I want to do rather than say, you know, show rather than tell. Yeah, that's the way, yeah. Um, but yeah, right, anyway, food's on the way and then I'm gonna eat that and go to the studio. I need to plan the stream. I, I've been just going live recently with streams and whatnot. I want to plan them a little bit more. That's why I got these boxes in, but yeah. I'm trying to think if I've shown you the ramen before. But there we go. Um, it's so good. It's like literally 600 calories. I've eaten half of it, but you get pork, fried egg, not fried egg, sorry, an egg, half a boiled egg, soft boiled egg, noodles, broth, this green stuff, spring onion, or whatever that's called. It's just so, so elite, man. And it's like definitely helped me with the whole lock-in weight loss stuff. It's like something I get excited by, if that makes sense. Like it's a meal that I'm really excited to have, which helps with all the cravings for anything else. I don't really have cravings, to be honest, but I eat, I overeat out of like anxiety and, and stress and, and that kind of stuff rather than the cravings, you know? I don't really care about like why I eat. I just, I get stressed and I overeat, you know? By the way, yesterday uh, my, my cleaner was round. Um, that's why I've got some clothes drying up there. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't find my wallet before the meal. So I'll, I, I have got an air tag on it. I actually need to get more air tags or charge them up because my one of my keys is dead and it comes 
in handy a lot of the time. Couldn't find my wallet. So I did the find my items thing on the iPhone and it, it was taking me all around my apartment, everywhere, left, right, center. And then it took me to the washing machine. I was like, what, no way. So I was like, oh. and I bent down and like put my phone in the washing machine. It started beeping saying it's here. I was like, oh no, she's washed my, <laughs> washed my wallet. I would show you, but all my cards are drying because obviously I can't show my card details. But yeah, anyway, off to the studio now. Late night one night stream. I don't know what to stream. I really don't know what to stream. I might do a binder stream. I might do a binder stream, you know. I have this binder here that I bought from LCS that time. I'm still yet to go through it properly uh, and showcase it off. So I might just like auction it off. Um, I wanted to go in through and see if I could find any that I can grade, but the person I bought it from kind of only collects 10. So I think he's all already gone through it and kind of pre-graded it. There are a few big cards in here that I wouldn't want to do on stream like this one. But then again, I could, I could. Um, but yeah, I might do it and see how it goes. I don't think I've got, oh, actually I probably don't, I, haven't, I haven't got enough time for this tonight because it's a big stream. This is like a full binder, as you can see, of four, um, Rows of four, usually they're rows of three. Off to the studio now, uh, I'm driving because I don't really feel comfortable taking those boxes um, by foot that I got earlier in this video. But I want to also just chat about a few things. It's been a while in the vlog since I like started, what, responded to comments and stuff. Um, I feel like we're over that. We made the progression to not do that. But uh, obviously I took a few days off the vlog. Number one, because Harper. And number two, because I was traveling back from Hawaii. CJ was doing his thing. I filmed the try in Hawaii McDonald's, but to be honest, half of it was just me flying back on a plane. I was like, look, it's bank holiday. So if you're not from the UK, that means you get a day off. So therefore Harper wasn't in nursery uh, and, and I could have Harper and see with, be with Harper an extra day, you know? So obviously I'm gonna obviously take that. So the vlogs were halted for a little bit and I keep getting comments, messages, and especially one was on my Pokemon channel. I don't know why they went all the way over to my Pokemon channel. They were like, well, a lot of you guys are like, oh, Randy vlogs are stopped. And I'm like, nah, they're not stopped. It, but one person was like, obviously Randy has stopped the vlogs, even though he said he's never gonna stop the vlogs. Um, He's watch him go back to being like a depressed fat guy. Or just, just like non-stop hate. And I'm like, number one, if you're a watcher of the vlog and you're annoyed that I've stopped or I didn't post for a few days, why would you say that kind of stuff? Like, I don't want, I, I, and just this message to everyone, I don't want anyone who has got the ability of saying that kind of stuff. Like, I don't even, you, I don't want you to watch the vlogs because the vlog is a very personal thing. And it's just something that I, I, I kind of, you know. It's, it's been the vlog's helping me, you know. It's been been helping me this year, um, and I'm forever grateful. But I, I don't want anyone like that watching this. And I know you guys aren't like that, yeah, by the way. And even though you're upset, I missed missed a few. Um, just, it's just annoying, man. It's annoying. So screw that guy, screw that person. And uh, I've made a lot of growth this year, a lot of progression. And I'm very happy with how things are going this year. Obviously, still got a few personal things and a few still still got a lot of things up in the air right now, but. I'm very happy. You guys also know that when I first started these vlogs, that, well, it's, it's the Arsenal one that I filmed way back in November of 2023, but then I started properly January. You guys know that the reason I started the vlogs was I was going through something really, really big at the time, which is still big now, but it was, it was quite new and raw. And the vlogs were clearly, you could see, the vlogs were, it was an escape. That whole trip, that trip to Texas was an escape. The vlogs were an escape, and it was something that I wanted to try and steady myself, ground myself, and, give, and just go, explore, go away, go go away and like, not, not find myself, but you know, try and get through that tough period, you know, and it, and it helped a lot. And then the vlogs became a thing, and uh, I was putting pretty much everything into them, but I wasn't doing anything else other than vlogging. I was vlogging, I was working on myself, and that meant I had loads of time to vlog, it meant, it meant I could really put everything into it. Now, at the minute, and this year, and the progression, has, has meant that I'm starting to get back into work you know i'm getting back into the pokemon thing i'm, I'm, I'm get, doing some trips that aren't necessarily just for the vlog i'm like getting I'm, I'm spending more time with harper i'm looking after myself more um i'm eating better i'm trying to be i'm trying to be healthier you know and that means that i have to sometimes sacrifice a few things it doesn't i can't always do the vlogs to the full capacity i can't like and, and and this is where like i know that a lot of people out there are like oh Randy complains all the time you know and, I'm, and, I, and I, I am someone who i've got really high expectations of myself and i like I'm a bit of a perfectionist with a few things, you know, so I like to do things the best I can, but it's just that I also do too many things, you know, I've got a bunch of different things that I do, and it's in, when I say I'm struggling, and when I'm struggling, I'm not doing very well, it's because I've got really high expectations to do everything really, really well, and one thing I'm trying to do is give myself a break in terms of that horrible necessity to have everything 100% of the time full force. It doesn't have to be that way, you know. The vlogs can take a bit of a backseat if they need to. The Pokemon channel can take a bit of a backseat if they need to. But at the same time, when I'm bringing something back, it's like, you know, I can't do everything a thousand percent. I'm trying to get to the stage where I can, I can you know, I can hire people, I, can, but I, I can't 
always hire people. You can't, you know, money is not free. It, money doesn't grow on trees. Like even this video today, buying these boxes. This box, these boxes are all part of the business. Like, I'm, I'm not buying these like 20 grand boxes. I'm buying them for the company. And I know I complain a lot, and I know I speak negatively a lot, but that's just my internal like me. That's just me, you know. Um, we all go through things that we. I'm not like my life's not awful. I, I, that's not what I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just working. Yeah, I'm always like, what can I do better? Da, da, da. But I'm trying to give myself a break with all that stuff. I'm trying to like love myself more, you know, and I've made a lot of, I think I've made a lot of progression, you know, but just those people who are like expecting these vlogs to always be the episodes they were, or like some days they will, some days they won't. And that's okay. You know, some days, some days they'll get more views, some days they won't. And I'm okay with that as well, you know, but you got to think as well, like you guys out there, you know, if you've had a, if you've had a bad day, you, you know, I, I guarantee not everyone's always going to be, like everyone complaining or I, I, anyway, anyway, just addressing those comments that have been mad at me for not vlogging. Like, come on, man, give me a break. Man. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's hard. It's so hard, but it's making me stronger every day. And when I get through this and when I'm on the other side, as I'm getting there, I will be, I'll look back at this period and I'll look back at the vlogs and be thankful. I'll be grateful. I'll be grateful for every one of you. Hi guys, I'm such an idiot, man. I'm such an idiot. I literally got out of the car, went to get the boxes, the, the, the boxes that I brought. And I was like, where did I put them? And I was like, and my heart sank. Sunk? Heart sunk. Heart sank. I panicked for a sec, thinking like, oh my gosh, I've left them, like, I've left them outside of the car. I haven't put them in. Because I was like, I, I, they're not in the boot. Not, where have I put them? And then I realised I didn't even take them out of my flat. So now I'm driving back to get them. This, this day's been such a weird day, man. Such a write-off. This week's just been tough, man. I had the call that I've told you about, and it's just, I've been struggling, man. So, yeah. Not the best day. But I'm going to stream soon and whatnot. Shout out to everyone who does come through. Um, and then all of you in general. Like I like streaming. I mean, even when I was doing Twitch, like the GTA stuff and then like the music stuff. And I just love being on there and chatting to you guys. I miss it, actually. I'm also going to start streaming my whatnots live on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, by the way. Um, that's a plan that I'm working on. It's just annoying because I've got like my house, my flat, the office. Like, where do I stream? I want a streaming base. That's why I'm really excited about the prospect of going back up north. Like full time sort of thing is like I just want one place to stream from you know hopefully I can try and find like a, a full time streaming spot up, up to up north oh my, I just, I just said up to, I didn't mean to say that like that but also London is weird on a Thursday so it's like London London on, London on a Thursday night is almost like a Friday night and I'm wondering is that because people work from home on Friday and just go out on Thursday is that a theory or is it just because it's close to the weekend because this is not like this on wednesday or tuesday at all also i inquired about getting my flat like lowering my flat getting a new one in, in the same building and then they, and they said like the cheaper rates are like 18 to 24 months it's a big commitment to do that um so i've got a lot i've got I, i've got a lot of thinking to do which is probably explained by the vlogs but I, miss, I miss like bro, i miss what by the way i missed like two days by the way i wasn't gonna vlog with harper anyway i missed the friday when i flew back but the, okay, here's the problem. Here's the problem with the vlogs, right? I flew back from Hawaii on Tuesday and I landed on Thursday. That, that's the main issue. Like, so I had like, because of time difference, I just lost a day. Wednesday didn't, Wednesday did not exist for me other than be on the plane. So that's why in my head, I missed Friday and Monday in the vlogs and Tuesday. Monday was a bank holiday. So I, yeah, I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday as a weekend with Harper. A long weekend, so I didn't film. And I missed Tuesday, but obviously for you lot, I've missed like a week, so that makes sense to be fair. I haven't stopped the vlogs. God, just ugh. These are the times where I do miss like old life because like, you know when you're just like down in the dumps and you just wanna like, that, that, that I don't have that person, you know, anymore. <laughs> that's the hard part. But um, you know, yeah, that's the only part that sucks. But we good, we move. I'm brave. I'm, 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 I'm strong, I think, so, yeah, we, we good, we good. Stupid boxes, man. All right, I got my boxes, guys. Uh, and speaking of comments, by the way, I got a good comment today <laughs> on one of my songs that I posted, like, nine, ten years ago to YouTube, okay? Um, it's called I'm Good. And someone's like, oh, I just found this song recently. I've been playing it a lot. And I'm like, it's crazy how someone can find a song that is that old. It's got 22,000 views. It hasn't got many views at all. But it's one of my favorite... Um, songs that I made and I, I, I was well I was listening to the lyrics and the song and I was like you know what? actually I like this song and a lot of it still applies today so it's crazy how a song that I made literally 2015 nine years ago can still speak to me today that's why I love my music that's why I love the lyrics and stuff but I'm gonna play it to you on this drive okay Yeah, I know that I used to think some things would never change
changed since it changed, yo, can I have my throne back? Uh, who changed? Nah, it couldn't be me, man, I keep it real, I'm a dreamer. What you get ain't always what you see when you close your eyes at night and you dream, man. Yeah, yeah, I know some people feel the same damn way that I do. I know some people see me as the idol. I follow every single thing I do. Nah, I ain't the best role model in a minute, cause I ain't seen no damn paper in a minute. You can be like me and speak truth to the beat, but truth ain't no damn food you can eat, not preach. Preach, still motivating, current 9 to 5 is so overrated. If you got one of them shits, you a loser. 2015, they so outdated. Yeah, yeah, I'ma get my own, even if I die try, man. I'ma get my own whole life to hustle. When everyone judge you, when you ain't got the shoulder to lean on, it's just you. Yeah, man, they think that I'm off and I'm out. Yeah, they think that I'm gone for the count. But what they don't know is I'm a fighter, I keep fighting, yeah, I'll fight it, then I'll fight it. I'm good. I'm good. Bro, it's a banger, man. I'm trying not to vibe, because I don't want to look stupid on the vlog. Vibing to my own music, but it goes hard, man. And the lyrics mean a lot as well, you know? I'm good, don't worry about it, don't keep it locked up, yeah, go ahead, shout it I'm standing up tall on the top of the mountain with my head held high So how can you doubt me if the odds are against me, I'll go ahead and fight Working on this, the whole of my life, if I get on the mic, it just feels alright So I ain't quitting tonight Letting down people, I lean on the key with your right is what's keeping me up at night Think twice, what goes around comes back again What's inside ain't on the outside packaging Stop panicking, take a deep breath, get back up and strike back again Yeah, I'm about to go and live all of my dreams that I spent too much time imagining I can't find out what a life would be like if I didn't do what I like If I stop moving at every single red light that I come across in my path You can finish what you want but I ain't finished the last The shot is my last, you can bet I make it count The shot is my last so I'ma make it count Take one step back and get one thing clear That I may be down right now man, but I ain't out Yeah, Man, they think that I'm off and I'm out Yeah, they think that I'm gone for the count they don't know is I'm a fighter, I keep fighting, yeah, I'll fight it, then I'll fight it. I'm good, I'm good, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, don't worry about me, I'm good, I'm good, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, don't worry about me, I'm good, I'm good, don't worry about me. Bro, it's crazy, man. I, I find it mental how like a song that I wrote like nine years ago is like something that I can still apply to what I'm going through on this day, which just shows you it's interesting, man. It's an interesting concept, you know. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, it's an interesting concept, you know. I, it means something. I don't know what it means, but anyway, it's why it's why music's a really tough thing for me because I don't I don't want to just like churn it out, you know. Like means means a lot to me. Oh, I got a new song now. But point being, guys, is I, I I I don't know what the point is. The song's fucking sick, man. Let's go. But don't count me out, man. Don't count Randy out. Never, never. I'm always up to something. <laughs> I'm, always, I'm always up to something, man. Anyway, let's go get this whatnot stream done. Let's go and do what Randy does best, and just yeah, man. Just be bees himself. Yeah. Got all the way up to the studio. And I thought I left my Osmo in the car, and I was like, ah, this day. <laughs> it's long, man. Going back and forth. Different areas, different locations to stream and do content and stuff. And I'm like, the inventory is the hardest part. Like, taking cards from a flat to here, from a flat to here, to the warehouse to here. So in the future, I'm hoping to have the warehouse and a house, you know. London will be whatever London is, man. Whether it's a flat, that's just for being able to do the YouTube side things. I've got a few main channel ideas as well. I know I've said that a million times, but let me cook. Let me cook. You know, I said I didn't know what to do on what not tonight. I'm not sure what to do. I, I've figured out what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna let the comments fuel me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let today's energy fuel me and go absolutely ham, okay? So I've got no show scheduled, nothing live. The title's gonna be, so I spent 20K on these boxes. So I realized on Whatnot, you should title your Whatnot streams like YouTube titles. Everyone just titles it like rips. One pound singles, no, you should title them like a YouTube video. Because why do you title YouTube videos the way we do? Because you want people to click them. So on whatnot, you should do the same because you want people to click them. Once they're on, once they're in the live stream, then you can tell them what you're doing, you know? By the way, happy birthday to Laura. Can we get some love for Laura? Happy birthday to Laura. It's today. This is video being posted tomorrow, but obviously, happy birthday, Laura. The reason I thought about the date is because I clicked 29th, you know? Um, I got her a card from Harper. Got her some chocolates from Harper. We're going to do... Single on screen, okay? Singles on screen as auctions, as we always do. Rapid fire singles. We're gonna do slab on screen. I might do some slabs tonight, slab on screen. We're gonna add some stuff to the bike now. We're gonna do T-book packs. 
These are listed as 75 pound each. I've been ripping them on my own recently. Um, KV was here yesterday, I was ripping them for fun, and it's like 75 pound each time I do, I did like 10, so it's bad. I'm getting half my own supply, but I'm doing it for you guys, okay? For the vlog today. Let's see what we can get. Is a card in here? Oh, I can see the code card already, it's green. I got nothing. Oh, God. Latias and Latias, it's worth like over a grand in a 10. Um, it's such a good card. I've got a Japanese card. We've got nothing, right? I'm such a DJ when it comes to packs, man. I really am. These packs here, Crimson Invasion, that I never set live, that I bought the other day. So these are gonna go live now. I'm gonna keep two for a series I'm doing soon. I don't usually do much buy it now in the uh, whatnot store, but I will for these. These are all sealed as well. I'm trying to get actual inventory going, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm ready for the stream now. I'm just gonna start it. Yo, so people. Welcome back to Randolph's Whatnot. We are live, we are direct. And I can't lie, today's been a stressful day, man. Stream all finished, that actually went really well. It's currently 11.15, so I need to actually get going and get back home to go to bed. I can't find my microphone right. It was plugged into my laptop. Um, literally right here, look. It was literally plugged into this wire, and like, this was the receiver, but the actual unit was plugged into the dock, and I just can't find it now. It's just literally gone. And I have no idea. I'm, I'm wondering if I packed it in someone's order. Chat would have not been able to hear me if I unplugged it. So that's not like, where is it? How, oh, oh, ah, it fell off. It was hanging off. Okay, cool. I found it. Let's go. Honestly, thought I was going crazy, man. Thought I was going next level crazy. Also, I used the Osmo for the stream in the end. My phone kept cutting out and I ended up using the Osmo and it was really nice. So I might actually start using it more often. It's a, definitely a chance. Definitely an opportunity because I can just put it like, yeah, I can just put it here, Luke. And I can just, you know, go through cards. The light is not on right now, obviously, but some sick cards here, by the way. Shout out KV, got me this gift from Japan. Shout out to you. Off we pop now, back home. <laughs> back home. I'm starting to get the northern, uh, I'm trying to speak northern again before I move back there. Now I'm kidding. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what I'm doing, man, but <clears throat> whatnot, fun as ever. I love it, man. I love streaming. I really do. I love interacting with you guys. I love Pokemon. I, love, I just love it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep going. Keep going. Good stream tonight. Went well, I think. Long may it continue. Made it back home now. I think we turned a bad day into a good day. I think overall it was a good day. I was just a bit grumpy, you know. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we go again tomorrow. Love you all. Take care. Peace.